Good day to you and welcome, I'm Bakerization and today I'm gonna show you something in sale. Now all these sales are really good bargains and hopefully you'll enjoy. I'll focus on GOG, Steam, Humble today, Indie Game Stand, I don't really find interesting for now, so let's go and start with the GOG. Let's start on GOG with Long Live the Queen. Now I've played this game a while ago, it's from June 2012, and currently it's in sale in 50% 50 for 459 euros or the original equivalent. Um, it's one of those games where you talk a lot and every single thing that you say uh, impacts you later on. Uh, it's not like Telltale's game, but in here, with what you say, you actually change your moods, you change your skills, and you improve your skills, and your goal is actually pretty simple. Survive. You are a princess, and you are most likely gonna die horribly a lot of times. Now, I haven't been able to finish this game. Uh, I've played it for about, hmm, four hours, let's say four or five hours, and um, I borrowed it from a friend, and it was fun, let's say, but um, I'm not one of those people who are into dying constantly, but if you like some challenges and if you like somewhat good writing actually, go for this one. Multivinia. Now, this is a successor to Darwinia, which was somewhat not really successful strategy from 2005, but this is from 2008 and it's set to be even slightly better and maybe a little more interesting. It's in a it's set in an, a digital world and it's a strategy where you most most of the time go create units from nodes, send them, it's a macro game. It's currently on 75%, for, so it's 2 euros 29, or the original equivalent, and it has some really good reviews actually, I haven't played this one. Uh, I guess for this kind of money, even if it's like fun for 3-4 hours, it's still fine, but don't forget that it has multiplayer and I think that people are still playing this, so if you want something that is strategic, go for this one. Now this is something that I don't personally like, but I know that a lot of people do. 69% uh, sale on Hatoful Boyfriend. It's... A talking, a talking love simulator with uh, some kind of mystery in it. I somewhat know what that is, I haven't played it because I've seen some stuff and it does not really interest me. Uh, what this game for me personally really is, is something that is called PewDiePie. It's made for streamers to play it and, you know, these people make, the, make this game fun itself it isn't that funny actually S but if you like this Japanese weird stuff and talking and you know getting into understanding some uh, getting into deeper roots in there um, you can try it uh, 249 isn't that high price actually and well some people like it some people don't I'd actually say that it's more like some people love it, some people hate it. It's either you go for either you love it or hate it. That's it. Love hate relationship. Defy Gravity Extended on Steam, 95% off. It's 14 cents, and as you can see, there are Steam trading cards. So this game is actually for free, and you can even earn some money on it, uh, like another 14 cents, which is not that great, but you can pick another small game. It's a really interesting puzzle platformer, or platformer where on the one hand you have a gravitational pull, and on the other hand you have anti-gravitational pull, or push, let's say. And it's actually interesting, really interesting. It's not that hard, and but not that easy. I think that uh, for this price, it's a must-have. Like 
you know, just try it. If you're gonna spend one hour with it, this is the best th uh, the best price for a game for one hour. What, what can you get for uh, for 14 cents? Um, it's actually cheaper than a can of anything. So, 95% Defy Gravity Extended, I highly recommend this one. Now, this is not as good, Urban Trials Freestyle, 90% off for 1 euro. I did a video on this, you can click on uh, at the right... Will it be at the right? Yeah, let's say at the right corner. Uh, I did a review or evaluation and well, it's it's not that bad actually. Uh, for 10 euros I'd say like if you're into it, go for it, but for 1 euro or your regional equivalent it's probably 1 dollar as well. I'd say that if you're missing some riding and so on uh, and jumping and you know backflips then this will be a good pick. Uh, I can't actually... Yeah, I can't actually come up with like better time to pick this up. Only better time to pick this up would be 95%. So Urban Trials Freestyle, 1 euro. Now this is a new game, brand new game, came out uh, March 26, 2015. And this is Ironcast, 30% off for the first week special promotion. Uh, the current price is 9 euros or the original equivalent, probably even 9 or 10 dollars, something like that. Um, it's, um, as they say, Puzzle Quest meets FTL, I'll show you in here. As you can see, you have this Puzzle Quest style in the middle, however, uh, you can't do these ex extremely flashy combos where just everything falls down. No, you have to, every single time, you have to choose in this way. And this is the only thing you're gonna get, there are no more combos afterwards. Um, you have your own mech, and it's roguelite or FDL style in the case, in the style that you, when you die, you die, but, and complete, and you have to start completely over again, but as in FDL, you get some unlocks. So you have your, uh, like, current mission progress, and you have your global progress, which is about unlocking stuff. Uh, for 9 euros, or let's say 10, 11 dollars probably, it's a solid price and you will probably get a lot of playtime in there. Uh, if you want to see more, I highly recommend uh, Total Biscuit's video on this one. Uh, I've seen him play it on stream for about hour and a half, two hours, and it looks cool, I have to say, but I'm not sure whether I myself am gonna buy it. So, if you want to try it, this is probably one of the best times and it's brand new. Come on, brand new games for for ten dollars. That's great. Well, Worms again. Worms Armageddon this time. Um, I'd say that Worms Armageddon are probably the best. Is probably the best one in the series. Um, I like the new ones just because they are better in terms of uh, how they work you know, with modern engines and modern operation uh, OS, but. Armageddon is really good, the online community, even on Steam, is still, I think, somewhat active. And, well, if you have some friends who already own it, or who would play with you, then just jump on it by 4-pack and, you know, kill each other plenty of times. Uh, there is not much to say about Worms, because everyone knows Worms. So, Worms Armageddon, 75% off. 374 euros or your regional equivalent. Well, Mark of the Ninja, one of the best stealth platformers you can get right now, is on sale on Steam for 75% off. That's 374 euros or your regional equivalent, meaning around 4 USD as well. There is a special edition which is 449 and that includes special edition DLC. Uh, which I don't know if it's good or bad, I have only played the original one. Uh, as you can see, there's more than one day off, and well, this game is really good. If you want to try something that is not about how quick you are in platforming, uh, which is really common, like, it's just annoying when you die because you weren't able to jump at the specific moment, in here it's much more about stealth and planning, and the platforming itself is only a means to get stealthy. 
so if you want to try something interesting also challenging and really good and with really good art style as you can see I highly recommend Mark of the Ninja 75% off on Steam. Well, now for my, one of my, let's say, tips that a lot of people hate and I find it quite amusing, uh, Two Worlds 2. Two Worlds 2 is universally acclaimed as a mediocre RPG with some interesting mechanics, that's true, and actually really interesting graphics like in 2011 it was really good looking but uh, it has its issues and the question is whether the issues are greater than the pro uh, whether the cons are greater than the pros and i think that for 23 euros which is like the wallet edition with the um dlc is really high price but for three euros you have a game which will last you for about 20, 30, 30 hours. And well, the original two worlds were somewhat bad. Two Worlds 2 is a lot better. And if you want to pick it up, then I think that 87% off is a great time. Uh, the question is whether you want to buy it on Steam or on GOG. Uh, where it is very often on sale for about 70-75% it's uh, you know and there it's uh, DRM free but on Steam it has its uh, bonuses and well if you want um, if you want some interesting RPG which I personally think are lacking today then you could try this two worlds too and you know three euros for a game that has this amount of gameplay of game time for me personally it's a really good deal so two worlds too 87 percent on steam well and now on the humble store uh, there is 87 percent or what that is i'm not sure there was uh, or 80 percent on Bioshock Triple Pack, uh, Bioshock DRM3 and Steam Key, Bioshock 2 with Steam Key and Bioshock Infinite Steam Key. Um, really interesting games for some people, I personally don't really like Bioshock series, but I know that people love it. So if you want to pick up all three uh, right now for 10 euros 99 or your original equivalent, it's probably like 11 dollars or 12 dollars again then Bioshock series for this price, all three games, probably really good, I'd say so. Valkyria Chronicles. Well, Valkyria Chronicles is, uh, as they say, a critically acclaimed RPG. Uh, it's something like World War style, and from what I've seen, it's really, really cool and really, really good. Uh, the writing is top-notch, uh, there are even yes additional in this brand new PC digital version comes with all previously released in uh, DLCs so this is a complete version of Valkyria Chronicles for 679 now you will get a steam key with this uh, and this is not DRM free and well for this price I'm gonna personally buy it myself soon Alien Isolation, uh, a pretty new stuff, it's, well, instead of 50 euros you have 12 euros or your original equivalent, it's gonna be probably around 13 up to 15 dollars. And Alien Isolation is overall a really good alien game. I've played this even though I have an older system with 540M graphics and um, i3 Intel What's that? 2003, uh, 2023-10M. Uh, then I was able to actually play it pretty, pretty well on solid graphics. I had to turn off some extra stuff, but overall the game looks gorgeous. Uh, the voice acting is really good, and the atmosphere, oh my god, uh, the sound and the music, it's amazing. Like the atmosphere of the game is really good. I know that in the end, uh, or to the end, it gets a little duller, let's say, a less horror like. But first few hours are really good, and the ending is also not bad. 
So, if you want to pick up Alien Isolation, uh, this is one of the best times you can get it. So, Alien Isolation to uh, uh, 1249. So, another, uh, another one is Warhammer 40,000 Dawn of War 2 Master Collection. Includes a lot of stuff and it's for 9.99, which is a very solid price. It's 75% off or something like that. And well, if you're a Warhammer fan, you probably already have it. But if you want to try Warhammer series, then this might be a good start, I'd say. And uh, this price is really good. I know that this has on Steam quite live uh, community. So if you like it, if you like the single player, which is not that... For me personally, it's not as good as Blizzard series, uh, but it's really close and really good still. Uh, so if you like the style, you can go multi uh, multiplayer and Steam supports it. Uh, there is a, quite a lot of people playing it. So currently on Humble Store, on uh, you'll get your Steam key for 9.99 euros or your regional equivalent, meaning about 10 up to 12 USD probably. Well, and the last one for today is Shadowgate. Now, as you can see, it's a really interesting looking um, point and click adventure uh, with really good graphics, a really good atmosphere. And, well, it's one of the best ones you can get probably right now. Um, overall, if you're, if you're not a point and click adventure game like, fan, you won't really like this one either, but if you like point and clicks the, and haven't played Shadowgate, then this is 75% off and you have a really good chance to get this. All, like It's not for free, but it's really good price. Also, this is supported on Mac and Linux. So, Shadowgate. 5.99 euros or your original equivalent, meaning 6 up to 7 dollars. So that is all for today. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to smash the button below, uh, which is like, uh, share it to your friends and help me out this way. Um, if you want to get notified about new content on the channel, which will be more showcases, more bargains, as well, those bargains will be, there will be lots of them. Tomorrow I'll do a new bar bargain on Humble Bundle, because there will be new bundle probably. And, well, if you want to get notified about new content, then go to my Facebook and like my Facebook page, Beckerization, or follow me on Twitter, at Beckerization, or right away subscribe to this channel, which is the best thing that you can do for me personally, and help me out. Well. That is all for today, once again, thank you for watching and see you next time.